Hello everyone, I am the Flesh 3004 Welcome back to Osiris New Dawn. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome new, to, new subscribers to my channel. Thank you for watching and thank you to everybody else for watching whether you're a new subscriber or have been here from the beginning. You are always welcome to watch my videos and join in the conversation anytime that you want to and you're always welcome here. Sit back, relax, enjoy the video and we'll see what we can do today. Last time we were here, we got the water reclaimer rebuilt, uh, built, not rebuilt, but built. We got the oxygenator and the climate controller. And I was looking at a few things. So when I was looking at building stuff, I was, I was looking under the tree and the big satellite dishes I could not build because, I mean, that is under furniture. Okay, that's advanced fabricator. We got to get zirconium for that. Um, underneath the tree here, I couldn't, I didn't know if I was going to build the satellite dishes or not. Mainly because it said, it says coming soon. Now, in the original game, my first season, the mech suit also said coming soon. And it was not in the game and it would not work. So that's why I just thought these would not work at all. I saw no point in even trying to do them. But I have since been told by you and by you who post comments and watch my videos that I can make not so much the little one, but I can make the big one. So let's go see if we can open up stuff to get to these. Hopefully we'll have enough points. Okay, there's 10 and 14. That's 24 points. We have way more than enough. All right, we can open up all of that. Well, we have that stuff open. Now we can build all of that stuff. The only things we really need to do is work on charge cells, which are 10 laser cells. Okay, we need batteries. We apparently never opened those. So let's do those. And... We're going to have to get more points so we can do laser cells and beacons, which would be really good too. And then all this other stuff here. We will get to that soon enough. So we have to reopen this stuff again. I did make med kits, but I can no longer do that now, mainly because of the tree system that they have when you are building things. So F3... Under, like, structures, you have to have a habitat to build the hallway. Barracks, you have to have a habitat. Biodome, habitat, rod of cleaner, oxygenator, and climate controller. And for the lab, barracks, depository, and large and satellite dish, large. And for this uh, solar panel, small, which is this thing right here, you have to have a liquid tank and a gas tank we need to work on a lot of this stuff try to get this stuff built so that we have this stuff open everywhere that we go i like the new tree system uh when i was talking about this last time i didn't make it very clear about everything so i wanted to go over that real quick if you have a quick minute they redid the tree system because the old way was just opening up stuff as you wanted to you didn't have to when you went under the tree underneath here the skills you could open up as you got points all of this stuff there was no rhyme or reason for opening anything up but as you know if you go to here it tells you what you have to open up to build this stuff so to get a habitat we have to have okay we have the smaller solar panel for the habitat okay we already have that my bad i was thinking that you had to build you have to make the solar panel so you could get the gas tanks never mind for the habitat you have to have the solar panel small liquid tank and gas tank that and the lab we need the satellite dish large now where that is i don't know but we'll go and look so we have the gas tank and the liquid tank we need to do those beacon we need to do but we need to make a beacon kit we need to have the beacons open before we can do that because it won't let us let me see. It doesn't say anything, but I know it won't let us because we don't have that open. Craft. We can't do it in there. And structures. I'm not noticing it in here. I don't know where we have to build the satellite dish 
at. I don't think it's going to be anywhere in here because this is just stuff that we take out of here. So, um, let me see if I can figure out where that's at because I just don't know. I've looked underneath all of this stuff, at least I thought I have. And under utility, I don't see, uh-oh, here's something, oh, there, there, there it is. Oh, that's easy. Hey, Ma, they're throwing stuff at us again. Yeah. Right over there. Right over there, all right. Got four of them coming down with this man. How do you like that? This one's really close in all actuality. Let's get in this guy. Let's go over and get some stuff. And I had a question asked about why I don't get this stuff. And I do. Oftentimes, in all actuality, I have a lot of it. But I know this stuff is used in more building than it used to be. It used to be just used for a very few things, except, of course, the lithium, which is always used in batteries. But since these are going to be so close to us, I might as well just go ahead and get a few of them. And they are probably a good thing to go ahead and get picked up. Nice thing is, if you don't know where they are, you can always use your scanner. And you will be able to find them really easy. Because your scanner will always show where they are. Um, another suggestion that I had from somebody was to always use your crab for your weapons that way you don't wear down your rifle and all of that and that is a very valid point and I will endeavor to do so more so in the future if I remember to I just have to remember to I'm thinking let's go for this one over here huh this guy can't jump for diddly squat I wish you could go back into first person view like you used to be able to do Where are you at, guys? I need some more meat anyway, so... Let's come over here. Let's go ahead and get this other one that landed right over here somewhere. It's not too terribly hard to see, and it will be there for a long time. Stuff doesn't despawn like it once did when the game first came out. Some gas is right over there. At least I don't think it does. Maybe it still does. I don't know. I'm not noticing where that landed at unless it's farther out here. Huh. Oh, it's one of that. I saw that coloring over there. I'm trying to figure out what the heck that was. It's a couple of trees in front of the skeleton. And I'm like, did they put paint on the skeletons? No, they didn't. It's okay to fudge. It's all right. You just need to get a good night's sleep. So, yeah, I'm going to work on getting the satellite dish. No, I've done lost. Wherever in the heck that that piece that meteorite that came down at is I don't know so I thought it was right over here but I'm not seeing it that's it those are gases still I don't think those gases are ever gonna change maybe it's farther away than I thought it was huh should have gone to the other two in the first place oh well that's okay there will be more of those things coming down they do come down on a regular basis Sometimes I'll get three and four in a short time, and then other times I'll get hardly any at all. I always like getting resources this way. It's nice that it just gives them to you like this so quick and easy. That is very good. It looks like that meteorite that came down just kind of disappeared huh starvation warning uh oh uh oh I'm gonna starve to death 
Probably not, but it's worth a try. Need to go inside and get a little water going on. Apparently the things, the bugaboos, didn't come around here, so that's okay too. Alright, let's go in, let's get some water. Sorry if it's being a little jerky, I'm not too sure why it keeps loading stuff like that. Okay, full of water, full of food. See, I need eight steel. I don't know if I have enough steel in here to do that. I don't have any steel in there. I know I have some steel somewhere. Again, I always have steel somewhere. Okay, and yes, there is three wire right up there. Thank you for letting me know that too. Um, what did the satellite dish take? I don't remember. Let's go under structures, utilities, one circuit board, 12 aluminum, eight steel. One circuit board, 12 aluminum. Well, we have 10. I think we can get some more pretty easy. I may have steel in here. I didn't think I did. We'll take out that, we'll take out that, and we will go make some more steel. Boy, Addy, I'm just jumping all over the place. How do you like that? That was awesome. Alright, let's go forge up that, that, and that. Man, 22. Holy moly, how do you like that? That's awesome. Now I have 11 steel, uh, aluminum, and get that going first, and then we'll re-click on this and make as many as we can. Uh, gun, and it's not going to let us, is it? Okay, we can make seven. I think that there is, ooh, look at that, there's all kinds of stuff there. There's some more lithium. 38? Holy moly. Oh yeah, I was carrying some on me because I took some out of this chest. And I think I put a little bit of... I only need... Yeah, I need 12 aluminum and 8 steel. Okay, um, I thought I had a steel. Maybe it's the steel is in here. Okay, there's one. We just got to find a good place to put that satellite dish because my understanding is you cannot take it out once you build it. So um, we need eight of these. Where is the steel? There that is. There's some more. There's another one. I do like that glass breaking sound. I think that's really cool. Okay, let's try to put that somewhere where maybe we don't have to stare at it all day. Maybe we can put it out here or something. Alright, let's go to F3 and let's go see about building that utility. Large satellite. Ooh wee, this thing's huge. Okay, um... We'll try to stick it right out here, huh? F. Build. Alright, so now we have a satellite dish. I am not sure if we can do anything to it. It doesn't look like it. And it sure doesn't look like it'll move or anything else like that. That's okay. Well, that's not really too far away. I think we can hoof it over there, huh? At least our hover seems to be working a bit better than it did at the beginning of the game when we first started. When we're getting injured all the time trying to get up hills and stuff. Oh, 
Okay. Almost was gonna get injured, I think, on that if I wouldn't have stopped trying to run up that hill. So now we have that. Let's go back to F3, structures. All right, we gotta get a little bit closer. Ooh, hey, look at that, sweet. Get our water filled up. This will be about, what, our third jar, something like that. All right, F3, uh, structures. We still can't, don't, do we have to build two of those satellite dish? Oh, not within 50 mil, good grief. It would be nice if we could take this guy apart. I am pretty sure that we cannot. It says we can, but we are doing nothing to it. So you are right. We can do nothing to it. All right. We'll make some more steel. Let me see. We have steel. We need aluminum. 12 aluminum. We're going to have to probably get some. Whoa, 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 whoa. The heck? Never seen that before. All right. We'll get out the aluminum. And one more circuit board. No, one circuit board. Make a bunch more steel. I think we should have enough. Oh, we got lots of aluminum, uh, iron. Getting my words all confused here, man. So we got to put that guy somewhere over here. Never mind. Okay, we need eight of these. That was a complete waste of time. Cook up those, we'll cook up those, and we'll cook up those. Let's go get some food and water. Probably work on making the kitchen also, and then we'll see if we can do a little traveling around. Maybe go find some more diamonds somewhere if we can. I hope we can. That would be good to do. F2, E. Okay. I did not realize I had to be in a certain radius. I guess it's it is what it is okay can't put any more in there just gonna put s stuff away I can sort this stuff a little bit later there's some more of that meat let's put that up there and then we can put that there then we can just eat that piece when we get to it. Another one? Oh, no, not another one, another two. Man, look how close that is. Yeah, when they're this close, they are always worth getting because it isn't going to take you too terribly long just to run over there and grab it, you know? I really do like the fire coming off of them. So I guess we'll build a satellite dish maybe on the other side of the lab there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, fine, we'll just take all thirteen. All right, do this again. Oh, well, at least we have two, two satellite dishes, huh? Satellite dish, large. We're going to place that as close as we can to here without it glitching in. F, build. This had better be close enough or I'm going to be really upset. All right, F3. Structure. You have got to be kidding me. 
F3. F3. Structure. You know, this is super annoying. What do you mean it's not within 50 meters? That That's farther away than 50 meters? Don't, are we going to have like six of these things around? Oh boy. It would kind of be nice if it would tell you. Let's go to F3. Utility. A large satellite dish will improve your radar sight near its radius of effect. Depending on the design, will allow sight of creatures, minerals, or enemy players. Okay. So what does that mean? I mean, am I going to be able to see stuff? So, what that means is I'm going to have to put a satellite dish blocking this beautiful view. Like right here in the middle of the area, just to try to be able to build the lab again. Or maybe we'll build it somewhere else. We have two of them here. We don't need three of them, but apparently we do. Doggone it, I wish I would have known that. Oh well. Alright, let's go do something else for a little bit while I figure this mess out. Let's go back into a mine. Let's try the mine over there first. Let me go get food and water. And I'm thinking, okay, ready in 30 seconds. I can wait for 30 seconds and then we'll do that. Let's go find the other, I think it's over at the, that forest. We'll see if we can find some more diamond. Maybe we can get some more aluminum while we're there also. I'm going to go back to the Bloodleaf Forest. We will go and see what we can find there. Get up inside there and see if we can find some more diamond. That would be really good if we could. Alright, I'm over here by the other mine. At the blood leaf forest. Looks like there's oxo nitrogen. Okay. That's always a good resource to have as well. Let's give it to this mine and let's go see if we can get anything you know what we also have this chest here i wonder if it says anything that we just don't need oh hey we can get some nitrogen okay cool we'll do that um nothing there let me go ahead and get a little bit of nitrogen while i'm still thinking about it i will go ahead and Drink a little bit, eat a little bit, and we'll put that on number three. Let's get a little bit of this. This isn't never going to hurt. So we can always use a little bit more gas. I probably won't get like a lot of it, but I'll get a couple of barrels worth. Okay. And let's go in here and see if we can find ourselves some more diamond. Okay, back inside the mine. Gotta go down to the place where we have to open up the door. Always startles me. Wish you could just press F to get back out of there, but you can't. That goes down to the depth. Let's go this way. Be nice if they add stuff in these racks, and I don't know why they never do, but they just don't. And it would kind of be nice if they did. All right, let's see if what we can find. Not going to take a lot of things we just don't need, because there's really no point in it. If 
food is always good. Always take food. Well, it's a lot of food, huh? Uh, ooh, hydrazine. How do you like that? We'll go and take all that. Don't find much hydrazine, if, if ever at all. We'll take all that. And let's okay, take the batteries. And we'll take that. All right, we're gonna have to go back through the bottom part. So I wanna see if there may be diamond that'll spawn down in there. If there is, that would be awesome. We could get a bunch of that. That would definitely help out our cause a lot. Hey, snubs. Got more meat. More meat is always good. Don't know where the snubbers went to. Let's get back down to that bottom part after we inspect other areas, of course. Just copper. We can find that pretty easy. I know we can find plutonium too, but you know how it is. Headshot. Have to eat, drink. Well, we'll have plenty of meat, that is for sure. Don't turn crab eyes. I think we have enough crab eyes for a while. Not gonna get that plutonium. Crab talon. We don't come across those very often at all. I think I will just take that one. They are a rarity. It's that light again that I seem to always look at every time. Okay. Go in there. There may be better stuff in there. We'll find out. Let's check back here. There's nothing back here for once. How do you like that? Hey, hey, hey. Let me out of there, please. Thank you. All right, let's go back here, see if there might be any diamond back here or anything. Hey, buddy. I got it. Keep on hitting the wrong one. Looks like this has been... Okay, there we go. We still got... Other stuff. I saw lead also. Right there. That's what I was looking for, man. Sweet. We found the diamond, we found the diamond, we found the diamond. Five diamonds is better than no diamonds. Of course.
Goodbye. Probably ought to work on making batteries too. Not that we need them or anything, but... So I wonder if the diamond is going to be such a rare resource that, you know, grab it when you have a chance kind of thing. I got it. We have enough crab eyes to go for quite a while. And we're near the bottom of our thing. We have enough of those as well. Let's just go ahead and shoot this guy. Ow! Uh, no sneaky up behind me. Laser cells are always my friend. So there was diamond in here. Thank you for reminding me that there will be diamond in here from time to time. I know in the original game there was diamond from time to time. Oh, this is the way back out. Yes, it is. So we've already gone in a complete circle. Okay. So I know that in these mines in the uh, first series, there was diamond, and it would spawn on, on an occasion, but it seems like there's two or three nodes. Now, where the hives were, there were diamond nodes down there, but they don't have the hives in here. So, I guess until they decide to put them in or whatever, there may not be any in here. So, we'll just have to see. Hives were good, but they were dangerous because there was all the little critters in there all the time, the snubs, and yeah, they kind of um, were really bad about not helping you out, if you know what I mean. Okay, we need one more of those. Should be doing pretty good now. Well, we did get five diamonds, and that's going to help us out. That'll make one robot. I'd like to see about making more than one. So I'll probably have to come back in at a later date and really get that stuff done. But at least we found the diamond. I guess that will probably be in the same place every time. Headshot. But I am not 100% convinced that it will be in the same place every time. But you never know. A lot of these games do have their things where things are in the same place all the time no matter what. Okay, so we got that. We didn't really find anything in that room back there that would help us out a lot. And that's fine. I do know that does happen. I thought there was a power switch around here somewhere. But maybe I'm thinking of the other mine. Probably thinking of the other one. Okay, let's go back. I guess we'll make one more satellite dish so we can open up that darn lab. Not the, Well, you know what? We don't need to open up the lab here. We need to go to another planet and open up a lab there. Always seems like the game locks up on you when you're going between worlds or between outside and inside. Got a little bit of nitrogen. That's always good. Let's go back. I'm not going to build another satellite dish. That's just ridiculous. We already have the lab open anyway. We can use that. Let's... Let's take all of our resources, smelt them down... And let's see about going to... Maybe we'll try the other planet that we were on here soon, Lutari. And maybe we'll... Ooh, hey, look, look, satellite dish. Excuse me. I'm not going to say no to a satellite dish, that's for sure. It 
Satellite dishes are always worth it. Let's just go ahead and put in this nitrogen and I think wherever the, oh, it's down here. That nitrogen and the hydrazine. I don't think we have any meat or anything in there. We do not. We have any gold in there. We do right down here. The diamond is always good. Whoa. Moved down the hill a little bit. It startled me. Oh, good steel. Okay, uh, we need to go drop stuff. We'll drop a little more in here, whatever we can. Gee, doggone it. Let's go drop that, and that, 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 that. Well, when you're an idiot, that's what you get. Eat that. Eat that. That'll help. It won't get us all the way full, but it will help. Circuit board. Okay, another barrel. As far as I know, I think, oop, 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 saw that. Did you see that? Right there. Sweet. I like how we can get stuff under the ground now. That's so much better than it used to be. Oh, what the heck? So we're full again, huh? Okay, F2. Nope, just couldn't grab it. Okay. There we go. Let's get back over to our base. There's our base right over there. We got a lot of capacity right now, man. Turn this guy around. Hopefully land okay. So the lesson learned here is build your satellite dishes within the radius of where your stuff is and you will be okay. At least that's what I'm taking away from it. Okay, let's go ahead and make some more stuff. Going to do quite a bit more. Get some more food cooked up. We're going to have a lot. Oh, wow, we have a lot more in there. Holy moly. Wow, we have 15 more meat coming. Let's put the steel back on here since we're not going to build any more dishes. Or let's put steel on here. This is full, so we're going to definitely be cooking this stuff up. And we will begin thinking about going to Aziel. Or at least we will go to Aziel. We'll get that figured out. We'll find a way to go there and get stuff done. That's all I can really say. And I think let's take you out gonna leave a couple of chisels on here just for safety's sake we have hydrogen and chlorine and nitrogen and some empty ones okay good we have all kinds of stuff on here that'll help us out that will always be good we can always take some weight off there how much of this we have a full 50 stack in there 
and maybe we can go ahead and drop a water on there take out a hey, you know what we'll, we'll leave a barrel in there we'll take out um but we need the wire we'll take out this stuff we'll get this stuff smelted and we'll leave a water another couple of waters in there that'll help us out a lot I'll get this stuff out. We'll get stuff loaded up. Let's go to F3. Two, whatever, one, whatever it is. Three, and let's fill this baby all the way up. Then we'll have another water ready to go. And he's ready. F2, put you up there and put another one down there. We're getting a lot of water now. That's good. We're gonna have to build everything on Aziel, of course, to be able to do anything. We need to build a kitchen in here. We'll probably put the kitchen like over there since it's next to the biome. And let's just take a quick look at that and look. Um, utility and look. Furniture, kitchen. Lithium, glass, aluminum, wire. We have the wire, we just need aluminum, glass, lithium. All right, F3, furniture, kitchen. Let's put that right there. Maybe we'll put some lockers over there too. Probably next time. All right. So now we have that, and this cooks up a lot of stuff. And we can make some baked potatoes. And I don't know anything about the Oreck. I don't know where to find that. Steam carrots. That I don't know. I know they said stuff about that, but I have yet to see any of that. Ooh, hey, we can get some crab meat and make crab stew, which is going to be really good. Quench bonus 15. Wow, that's actually pretty good. We can definitely do stuff like that. And let's go ahead and see. G. F. B. K. And we'll come over here and we'll do the same thing. G, F, B. Sweet. That stuff will keep on growing. And now we have a whole bunch of food and we can work on that. F3. Furniture. So for the storage lockers, 15 steel and 3 rubber. So we will probably work on that next time. Once we get that in, we can store a bunch of food in there. We should probably make a shower for the barracks. Um, the small ones are okay. They don't hold as much, but the storage lockers hold quite a bit. And that would be really good. We found more diamond. We can now build at least one robot, but... We need a little bit more stuff to be able to do that. And we built two satellite dishes. One over there and one behind here. And they're kind of not doing any good because they're too far away from all of this stuff. So I guess we'll just have to, when we build it anywhere else, put one like somewhere, you know, in the midst of all of our stuff. So that way we have it and it will help us build a lot more. And we can also take a bunch of waste and make soil and take a bunch of sand and we got a lot to do before we can even begin to head to Aziel because there's no sand on Aziel. It's all snow. Thank you for joining me here. This is Osiris New Dawn. We did find diamond as I said. We almost got the lab reopened but we didn't build the satellite dishes close enough and I didn't know you how to do that so we kind of wasted a lot of material with that, but at least we know how to do that correctly now. We're getting a lot of water, and that's always good. We have a lot of meat to eat. We have way much meat, which is always good. And we have our ship almost ready, almost, well, pretty much full and ready to go to Aziel to begin building stuff there. Alright, if you enjoyed this episode, drop a like on the video, share this video with your friends, tell them about my channel, and we will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.